Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to add fractions. Now, it's very common to add fractions. I always kind of look at, well, kind of like a candy bar, you know? And we always think about that. If I can go ahead and take this, and it's, what this fraction I'm gonna do is represent as a bar. And I'm gonna break it down into eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and then I'll break this one out. So what all a fraction is, remember, it's a part of a whole. Right? A fraction is a part over a whole. So this says there's three parts. So I'll say one, two, three. And this one says there's one part. So let's just do here. So if I said I was going to add these two together, the three parts plus the one part out of a total of eight sections, I am going to have a total of one, two, three, we have a total of one, two, three, four. So I have, and it's still out of eight sections. So I have four over eight, which is roughly, if you kind of break this up, which is the same thing as one half. So four eighths is equal to one half. All right. And that's where the biggest thing that a lot of students will say, oh, no, it's four out of, you know, 16. No, no, no. You don't add your sections, all right? That is your whole numbers. That's, it's part over whole. So how many parts do you have out of the whole? The whole is not gonna change, but you can reduce it down to one half, all right? We don't need to write there's eight different sections when we can simplify that to two different sections. So that's how you add fractions.